humpback whale. I am called a calf. This is my mom, Wendy. She's a great mother. I like to swim close to her so she can protect me, feed me, and teach me how to find my own food. I was born six months ago in warm waters off the coast of Brazil. That's in South America. There was not much food in Brazil, so Mon made me travel with her, or migrate, down to Antarctica, where she said there would be a ton of food. We just got here a few days ago, and boy, was Mom right. There's a ton of my favorite food down here, Antarctic krill. They are kind of like tiny shrimp, and they are very tasty. I am so glad we came. We are currently swimming in Wilhelmina Bay, located in the western Antarctic Peninsula. Both the water and the air are very cold, and there is a lot of ice in the water. It is absolutely beautiful here, though. I love it. All of the ice, glaciers, and the colors. It is amazing, even if it is a little colder here than where I was born. There are also a ton of interesting animals down here to watch and play with. I have seen Antarctic fur seals, crab eater seals, leopard seals, minke whales, and my favorite, Gen 2 penguins. I love to watch the penguins. There are so many of them, and they do such silly things. A few days ago, I had an interesting experience. It started when I spotted something unusual in the distance. Mom, what is that? Well, Wyatt, that's a scientific research ship. We see them occasionally in this area. What's a scientific research ship? It's a boat that carries scientists to Antarctica to study things down here, like us. Cool! Hey, Wyatt, can you see the scientists on board? Yeah, Mom. It looks like they're looking for something important. Yes, Wyatt. They have binoculars, and they are looking right at us. Make sure to wave hello. Look, Mom. Some scientists have gotten on smaller boats. Those small boats are called zodiacs. The zodiacs let them get closer to objects that they want to study. They are taking pictures of us, Mom. I am going to swim a little closer to them and say hello. Whoa! I think they just put something on me, Mom. Wow, Wyatt. That means they selected you out of all the whales here in Antarctica to study. You sure are one lucky whale. What is it? What did they put on me, Mom? I think it's a digital acoustic recording tag, otherwise known as a D-tag. What's that? What's a D-tag, and why is it on me? Well, Wyatt, it's a device that scientists stick on us so that they can learn about what we do underwater. They have such trouble studying us because they can only see us when we come to the surface to breathe. That limits what they know about our behavior. How do the D-tags do that, Mom? The D-tags are really cool. They stick to us with suction cups for about 24 hours and have sensors on them that record how deep we dive and the directions that we move. They can even record the sounds we make and hear. Wow, Mom, that's fantastic. I am very special. Mom, I think they are going to tag you, too. Oh, Wyatt, you are right. I will try to be still to make it easy for them. We sure are some lucky whales to be getting all of this attention. Mom, this is great. I love being able to help out the scientists. What do the scientists do when they get these cool tags back from us? Tomorrow the tags will pop off of us and float to the surface. The scientists will track and pick the tags up. At the big ship, they will download the data collected on the tag into something called a computer. After that, scientists will study the data collected and compare it to other data collected from other humpback whales. What does the data look like, Mom? Well, Wyatt, 
they can create 3D movies of us swimming. Check it out! In this movie, you are the blue track and I am the yellow track. Those green boxes represent times that we ate krill. Look how close we are swimming and eating together. Wow, Mom, that's amazing. It's like they can see us and what we are doing deep below the surface of the water. I know, Wyatt. Isn't it fantastic? These tags will help these scientists learn more about us. They will find out things like how we eat, how we swim together, how deep we dive, and other important things. All of this will help scientists understand our needs. That's great, Mom. I'm so glad we can help scientists learn about whales like us. Me too, Wyatt. And it looks like the scientists are pretty excited too.